All right, so Springs Guy One asked me, "Can is that an Arcan Jack from Costco? Can you do a review on that?" And to that I say, "Why not? <laughs> That's easy. It's here. I get a lot of requests sometimes for things that I don't have in my possession. This I do, so I'm going to do a review. Um, this is a three and a half ton Jack. I bought it from Costco. I think I paid about a hundred bucks or so, maybe one fifty. It just it didn't sting very much." For the money, it is amazing. It's been great. Um, there's some things that I really like about it. I really like how low it is. It's easy to get it under a Corvette or something. You know, it's got a great low profile. Uh, another thing that's great about it is that it's held up really well. I've had it for about a year and a half, maybe going on two years, and I've never had anything in terms of hydraulic failure or hydraulic problems. Um, when you buy this jack, uh, it's going to squeak. It's really loud. When I first got this, when I'd crank it, I felt like I was trying to call in some giant, you know, bird from South America, some kind of flamingo or something. It would just, you know, every time you crank the handle, and I hated that. I stuck grease everywhere I could possibly stick it. I stuck it all over these. I stuck it on here. I stuck it on there. I was talking to a hydraulics person, and they said that's what you want. Noisy, it's the seals that we're doing it basically. He says noisy seals are tight, long lasting seals. And I was like, it barks like a baby seal <laughs> every time I crank it. So that drove me crazy, but I'll tell you what. Here's Napa's three and a half ton jack, and there's a lot of things I really like about this that are better than that. But this was like almost 400 bucks. I mean, it was an expensive jack. Um, this one jacks up faster. I like the foot on it. This one's safer in terms of having things not slip off of it. It's got a big rubber pad. It's got great big teeth. Um, the profile on these teeth is great for snagging on stuff and making your jack not slide out. That's very important. You can see this one, its teeth are almost non-existent. I had to take a cutting tool and cut along there to make more of an impression. And I made several cuts. I had an F-150 with a 4.2 liter. And they got this great big metal flat cross member in the front. I jacked it up and it slipped off. It hit the radiator fan. I mean, it's totally, you know, it goes up solid, solid, solid. And then all of a sudden, the first slip goes into BAM! I mean, it didn't go slip, 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 BAM. It went just SPAM! <laughs> I just said spam. <laughs> I don't want any spam! <laughs> no, but seriously, this thing, oh my gosh, it is atrociously flat, slippery, and dangerous. This one's dangerous because you jack a car up and the seal just goes, Meer! you know, I don't even use this anymore. I got a seal kit for it, but I haven't rebuilt it. This one lasted about a year and a half, two years, and then just totally the hydraulics went to crap. This one's dangerous because the, the head on it is a joke. Um, it's not deep enough. These don't stick up high enough. Um, and the other things I'd say is that you look at the wheels on this one versus this one. I like big fat wheels. I like big wheels and I cannot lie. You other brothers can't deny. When you're jacking on dirt or something and you don't want to get hurt, <laughs> these big wheels are fly. <laughs> I like the big wheels. I like fat construction. I like the support wing that they have here that adds to the strength of the jack, but it also adds to being able to get the car up. You know, say you're lifting the car by this by sliding it under to make up for the not being low profile. So as far as a comparison, if, I, if somebody says, hey, you want a jack? I'll give you one. I take this one every time. I feel safer with it. Um, as far as for the money, this is a way, 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 way better value um, than this one is. Um, what I would do, if you can do something, I'd, you could take some, you know, M6 bolts, M6 by one thread that are real common, and just uh, weld them on here, you know, so that you have a bigger bite. And then what I've done is, because I'm not using this one because the hydraulics are scary, I just put this on there and uh, use the rubber pad actually quite a bit because this pad actually grips this pretty good under under weight. And then this grips the vehicle pretty well. So that's the way I've been using this one. If they did a different head on this, 
it would be wonderful. But what's funny is, yeah, it is made in China. Maybe this one is too, I don't know. But that's my review for the Arcan. Awesome hydraulics that come, or seals and things for the hydraulics that come from Arcan, an experienced company. They know what they're doing. Um, as far as the jack goes, it could have been designed a little better in terms of the head and in terms of having the plate here. I really like this. And if something goes wrong, I don't know, I think that this does a better job to protect the vehicle. So. That's my review. I hope you like it. If you have any questions, feel free to ask me in the comments below. If you like videos like this, click subscribe. Um, and uh, thanks for watching my videos. I love you guys.